This is a tutorial to help you with your calendar. So to go to your calendar, you want to go to, this is to manage your calendar, you want to go to http colon backslash, then type your URL such as janesmith.com and then put a slash web calendar. And this does not have the www in front of it. And then you'll see your calendar. This is public access, but you want to go in the right upper corner here and hit login. So click that login, and there you get the login screen. Type your username. Type your password. Click the logon button. Okay, now you're in the administrator part of your calendar, which means you're not viewing it as a user, you're actually administrating your calendar. So, now that you're in default administrator mode, you want to go to this upper left corner and go to the Views drop-down menu. That's the third one from the left, where it says Views. And then you want to go down to the second choice, Manage Calendar of. And then if you scroll over, it brings this public access. That's where you want to always start, because otherwise people won't see. You've got two calendars. You've got a personal calendar, and you've got this public calendar. So in your public calendar, click that link. And now, as you can see, it says public access. But you don't have that login button anymore because you're logged in. You're the default administrator. And when you're done, you want to log out. So now you're in your calendar, public access, and you would go to the date that you want a gig and select the month you want from the drop down menu but you could go to like April pick this drop down and go April and then say you had a gig on Saturday the 7th you click that date and up comes this calendar and then you go back to this upper left corner events second menu from the left and then pick the top one add new event you click that and then it brings up this dialog box or screen rather and here's where you put all the details of your gig so you got the description stuff here's the date you now you have to change this date now even though you picked april something it, it defaults to today's date so you're always going to have to go and pick your date so I'm going to go to April 2nd, and then this drop down, if it's a, you want to pick time to event, you want to put the time and the duration, let's just put two hours, and then you want to make, this should default to, over here, should it default to public, you have a private confidential, so you, it should be, because you're in the administrating the public calendar, it should always default to public, so you put your stuff there, and then just click save. I'll move this over a little so you can see it. There's a save button right here. So I'm going to click save. And now I'm going to go to your calendar. Okay, I'm going to go to April. Okay, there it is. There's the gig that I just put, a test gig.